2018, Ford Mustang First Drive Review When I get that feeling, I want V8 Healing 2018 Ford Mustang First Drive Review When I get that feeling, I want V8 Healing. California isn't where the Mustang was born, but it might as well be. The Dearborn bred pony car instantly formed a bond with the sun-kissed state, and Mustangs have been cruising in town or winding through the hills since 1964.5. The affinity is palpable, the roads are good, the weather's fine, and the Mustang's a car that makes you feel good even sitting in prodigious traffic. A perfect match. Since Mustangs can handle now no surprise there, since the 15 plus Mustangs are the best Mustang ever from a dynamic perspective and the 18 builds off that tradition figuring out what makes the 2018 Ford Mustang tick requires the right venue. That's why I'm tearing up and down Latigo Canyon Road in the hills above Malibu. It's early, I have the road all to myself and a choice of Mustang GTS and Echo Boosts, all featuring the optional performance pack. Time to figure out if the new Mustang captures the vibe. A big part of the historical attraction is styling, or at least, presence. LA is a place to be seen, and to watch others trying to be seen. On this front, the 18 has some challenges. Reception to the revised styling was initially mixed, to be polite about it. It's no longer a fusion coupe, right? but it's also lost something intangible in the aggressive droop of the nose. I've been mulling it over since Ford pulled the wraps off, and my assertion is that this is a less versatile design. It works great in bright, bold colors like orange fury or triple yellow, but the throwback royal crimson looks awfully flat here. From the right angle, and particularly in profile, it's very much still a Mustang. And expect trickle-down Shelby appearance bits and an eventual refresh should sharpen it up some, too.